All right. Good evening. Um, this is Mortician. Um, here with another episode of Wine Pairings. We are playing Tormentum Dark Sorrow. Um, just going to go ahead and <clears throat> address the elephant in the room. Um, I'm sure pretty much everyone probably worldwide at this point has been aware of the events in um, Orlando, Florida. Um, I'm going to go ahead and admit that I'm, I'm not in a great place right now. Um, this is an absolutely just egregious tragedy. Um, I don't really want to address that in the middle of a video game um, type situation. I know we're we're here to have fun and all that kind of good stuff, but um, you know, it's it's weighing pretty heavily on uh, my mind, and I'm sure many other people's. Um, it's a tragedy. It's horrific. Um, and it's really very, very upsetting. Um, so I'm just going to echo what Markiplier already said much better than I could. Um, and that's, you know, whoever's watching this, just, you know, be good to each other, you know? Life's too, too fucking short to... Life's just too fucking short, you know? Just... Be good to each other. You do you. And, you know... Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Um, with that, uh, tonight... Um, due to the circumstances, I'm... Rather than wine tonight, I am drinking some Maker's Mark bourbon. Um, it's a fine thing if you, if you like bourbon. I've actually been to the distillery. It's, um... It's a good, good, fun time for an afternoon. Um, good, decent bourbon. Um, not my favorite bourbon, um, but in the price range, it's quite, quite decent. Um, this is going to be the above $20 a bottle uh, type thing. Uh, plus, you get the cool bottle with the, the red wax uh, seal, which, you know, how can you not like that? So let's get started with Tormentum and um, kind of forget our troubles in our, you know, horrid wasteland and look at somebody else's troubles for a bit. Um, I've picked up a cartwheel. It's in decent condition. Perhaps it might still be useful. If I am ever in a situation that I don't know what the hell's going on, I'm just going to pick up every piece of junk that I can possibly find. Because, you know, you never know when it might be useful. Let's go this way first. Well, this is a cool looking thing now, isn't it? God damn, I love this art. I just really do. I mean... Hey, bird. No, we can't click on the bird. We click on... Oh! It talks. The pain... Please, whoever you are, help me chase away these damned birds. They torment me without end. I once possessed the power to scare the birds away, but I lost it. I drew it from a storm egg. One day I fell asleep for a moment. When I awoke, all that remained of my eggs was broken shells. Now all that is left to me is pain, delivered relentlessly by these dreadful crows. The only thing I can do is to find another egg to help me regain my lost power. It would bring me great relief. If you would find it and deliver it to me, I shall repay you the best way I can. So, I'm kind of getting... I'll go ahead and admit that while being well read, I have not read Dante's Inferno. But I have read about it. Now oh, the pain, blah blah blah. I was trying to check what that was down there, but apparently it's nothing. Um. Anyway, I've read about Dante's Inferno. 
And, um, this seems like a hellscape sort of thing. I see a hidden cache inside this rock. Unfortunately, it's locked. Alright, let's keep that in mind. Because, you know, they had like the... I I've had some bourbon before this, so I, I can't remember right offhand what all the punishments were. But I know there was like the... You know, like when Homer Simpson went to hell and it was he went to the ironic punishments department and got fed donuts until he was pretty full of donuts. Um, yeah, there's there's some of that stuff. So I guess I don't know. Maybe the tree thing was a bird murderer. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, we got this dude in an awesome fucking helmet. Up on the uh, bridge here. And I, I do realize this doll is glowing. But we're going to talk to this uh, dude in the awesome helmet first. Are you heading for the train? Damn. That is an awesome helmet. Not so fast. Anyone who wants to cross my bridge must first prove he is worthy of doing so. So, you need my name, my quest, and my favorite color? Tim? It is I who built this bridge, and it is I who decide who crosses. Or... No one crosses without my permission. Sir Didymus? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Use your cunning and bring me a trophy from one of the wild beasts inhabiting the underground mine tunnels. Only then will I let you continue this path. <laughs> Can't I just give you my name, my quest, and my favorite color, even though I don't know my name or my quest? My favorite color is purple. Oh, there's a doll hanging by a noose. Guess I'll just go ahead and take that. Okay, we're not getting across there. All right, I did notice that we have a couple different ways to go. Um, we've gone to the right as far as we can. Um, we're going to go past this badass tree pillar thing with the crows on it. Um, I can't seem to do anything with the crows. I like I'm living in the best album cover ever. Like, see? These things are great. Um, time has taken its toll on the tomb, but it still makes an impression. There is something written at its feet. Daniel Hughes, Robert Chow. Do the people whose names were written here build this place or are they buried here? I don't think I'll ever know. Kind of wonder if they worked on the game. Oh, look at the little hangman here. Um, Thomas White, Daniel Hughes, Robert Chow, Merrick Choizo? Zio? Choizo? Zio? K. Elspis? Jeff Sawyer, Hide, Chris. I have no idea who those people are, but I'll bet you they're in the credits. Uh, the entrance to the tomb is partially covered by sand. It would take too much time to get out by hand. What, do we have a schedule? Do we have somewhere to be? I've gotten the impression that all we've got is time at this point. But apparently we're an also a lazy asshole. So uh, let's see. Three bells. Someone carved an L image of bells into this wall. The tolling of the bells, iron bells. What a... Something of melancholy their melody foretells. Something like that. 
I am all over the place with the references tonight, and I apologize for nothing. So, yeah. Um, don't know what we can do with this yet, but I guess we'll check it out later. Oh, hey! Looks like the train the Traveler from Frozen Tears mentioned. I don't know that I want to ride that train. <clears throat> I, I think this is maybe where the ghost train in Final Fantasy got its start. And I don't have anybody who can suplex it. But I guess the game doesn't care about that. There's a sign here. Oh, hey, that looks like a minecart. We're supposed to kill something that's in the mine. So I guess let's go that away. See what we got. Hey! I bet you this is the Otter Things house. Uh, knock at the door. Who's there? No strangers allowed. If you come as a friend, you should know the sign. Otherwise, go away. Yes, we, we know the sign. But I just wanted to knock at the door just because. See fragments of green crystal inside. Do we have a green crystal? We don't have a green crystal, so... Guess we gotta figure out a way to light that lamp. It doesn't look like an ordinary well. Go this way, maybe we can find a green crystal. Minecart has seen better days. A minecart without wheels won't go anywhere. Well, we've got a wheel. Not a wheel, but I still need another one. Okay. Well. Alright, it looks like we can go up or we can go in. Ah! An instruction of some sort. Two, three, four. I have no idea what that means. This music is rather pleasing to me. I, I really rather like it. It's it's unobtrusive but atmospheric. And that really goes a long way for me. Um It's it's like the music in Silent Hill where you don't quite notice it, but it sets enough of a mood that when you start paying attention to it, you're like, yeah, this this really works. Now let's go into the mine, because what bad things could possibly happen? I can't summon the elevator. There's something missing. Like a button. We've got a doll that's not a button. Hey, look at there. Picked up a cartwheel. It's in decent condition. Perhaps it might be still useful. Oh my. A horse carcass. Did someone hang it here on purpose? Or did it end up here through some kind of accident? Poor creature. Something is missing here. Well, oh. probably not a cartwheel. I feel bad for the horse. Elf stones. It looks like there's a. Yeah, there we go. Horses were brought in today in order to improve the mining. 
performance. The animals were brought down the shaft by strong ropes. They pulled the carts full of rock and equipment. Well, that didn't work out so hot. The lamp, it's strange, it still works. Seems to be a big hole right here. Uh, looking down the hole, I can see a lower level in the mine. It's too far to climb down there, though. So many ropes we could use, but apparently we're not going to. Minecart has its wheels now. My card is functional now. It takes more strength than I thought to move it, though. And we haven't got a horse. So let's go up the mountain. Greetings, wanderer. What would someone like you seek among these rocks? You know what they say about curiosity. Curiosity killed the... But I digress. Let me satisfy your curiosity. Shall I tell you who lives at the top of the mountain? None other than a lizard, lizard thief. He stole my property. An egg. Also called a storm egg. He keeps it on the roof of his tower. Unfortunately, no one can enter or leave the tower. His defense system is broken. As a result, a dangerous beast occupies it. One of those that creep out of the mines every now and then. If you could get to the tower roof and reclaim my egg, I could repay pay you with the key to a stone cache at the crossroads. They say it holds parts from an old train that once traveled from here to a land called Frozen Tears. Okay, so we've got a creepy harpy thing wanting us to go up the mountain and get an egg. I'm sure that's legit. <laughs> An iron crank. What's it doing here? Who the fuck knows? Um, can we... Looks like part of the main ventilation system. I don't see anything here. Tatters. Nothing else seems to be standing out. Let's keep going up the mountain. We're supposed to kill some kind of beast. Oh, holy crap. I'm not sure I'm up to killing that. That's much, much bigger than I am. A huge monster has wrapped himself around the tower. Getting, nigh getting inside is nigh on impossible. Yeah, I I don't think we should fuck with that, really. Um, All right, let's look at this. Like two. Four, one, three. I've already screwed up. If that's the way it... Yeah, okay. Down at the bottom. Two. Four. One. Three. That, that looks legit. Let's... Two. Four, one, three, five. Wrong combination. That looks good. Maybe we start at five? Five, two, four, one, three. Five. Two, one. Five, two, one. Two, no, five, two, four. <clears throat> five, two, four. 
Five, two, four, one, three. Five, two, four, one, three. Yay! I did it. Once again, I am drinking Maker's Mark bourbon. <laughs> Which vastly improves your puzzle solving resolve. That did not get rid of the beastie, though. Can I sneak over here and... Ah. Huh. Hmm. I have to find the missing part. Okay. So apparently he's content not to fuck with me as long as I, you know, stay down here. So that's good to know. We'll go past the harpy thing. Alright, so let's consider this for a second. What do we know? We have a crank. Let's see if the crank fits on the doohickey in here. Nope. Mm, let's see if the crank fits on the doohickey here. It did! So I drop the horse down there, lifted whatever the fuck that is, up, I got a button. Hey, you've got the button. Um, tightrope. Hmm. I really do feel bad about the horse. Um, Minecart is dangling on the rope. Still too high to climb down. Okay. So we've got a button. Maybe the button goes there. It fits. And we push the button. And we've got an old mine car. The elevator works now. Let's see what's hidden in the darkness of the mines. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Jesus, fuck. See, when you arbitrarily put faces on things that don't need faces, that's fucking creepy. Ah! Oh, okay, it's another one of those make-a-circuit puzzles. Now, we have done this before. I bet you it's not nearly as easy as I'm thinking it is. Um. Alright, this thing's gotta be oriented that way. I really dig this music, though, I gotta say. That seems to be going down that way. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there we go. Connect to the components, but the seal seems to be something missing to the right. I don't think we got anything left but a doll. Yeah. And dolls are typically not made of conductive materials. Oh, this creepy ass thing with the, you know, kind of badass music. We'll just leave it alone. Day 115 Extraction of Rockford Castle. Construction proceeds according to plan. Day 152, we've discovered something extraordinary there. Deposits of green light emitting crystals under the rock. Hey, we need those. Day 182, miners have started to disappear in the shafts. We are terrified. Despite the existing threat, the castle remains adamant in its demands. This just lends credence to my assertion that the castle is made up of evil guys who are, you know, got so lawful good that they wrapped around to lawful evil. Oh, dear fucking god. Um. Well then. I don't know what to say about that. That's, that's... That's a Lovecraftian monstrosity right there. It seems to be leaving me alone, though. So I'll avoid eye contact with the ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll right there. Um, I'm going to walk away slowly. And that rectangular doohickey seems to go right there. Fits perfectly. Let's see what this does. Got a drill. A drill with its creepy ass faces for no apparent reason. Oh, that might have killed the crap out of that monster. Horse carcass, well, what's left of it? Drill activated, must have torn the monster's claw off. I don't know if that means it's dead or if it's down here pissed off. Drill broke against a rock. I hope the creature won't come back anytime soon. So probably just pissed off. Something at the bottom. Hey, a rope! Day 188, we found a disturbing pave painting. Someone was here before us. I have a bad feeling about this. We have now entered Star Wars. That's the cave painting that was a serving? Mysterious cave painting on the wall? I don't think it's important for me, though. Like a dude offering another dude a bouquet of crystals. You know, I, I like flowers. You know, I can't break the crystals out there far too sturdy. Flowers are cool. Um, flowers are very nice to receive and, you know, I, I have nothing against flowers. But a bouquet of crystals would be badass. And some broken off crystals. Can you imagine if your significant other came to you and was just like, I got you a bouquet of crystals. That, that would just be really cool. Just saying. Um, I have not seen anything down here other than what we've gotten. 
Uh, we do have those crystals now that I bet will cause our nice little glow. Um, so we can probably get to the otter's house. Oh, and we caused a cave-in. Rock seal off the entry to the mine. It's a stroke of luck. This didn't happen when I was inside. Or it was a script end event for after I com accomplished everything I came to do. But, you know, we'll go with that first one. Hmm, I can hear someone opening the front door of the hut. I just said that we needed weird green crystals to... Nah, it's you, my dear friend. I'm truly sorry about the inconvenience of the door. It's just a precaution. Last time I opened the door, I ended up in a cage as, a beast, as beast food. I'm sure you can understand that if, after such an ordeal, I'm a little wary when I hear someone knocking. I'd like to thank you again for saving my life back at the castle. You have my eternal gratitude for that. Please make yourself at home. Escaping from the castle wasn't easy, but I used my natural abilities to eventually find a way out through the castle sewers. As you have found your way here, you probably noticed that the three monuments out to the desert. They're the tombs of an ancient kings of this realm. Legend says that the central one hides a magic item able to give great power to the one who possesses it. Well, maybe it's worth your time to dig the sand out this time. With his power, maybe my family wouldn't have to live in constant fear of presses from the castle anymore. If you help me, I'll give you a key to the place where you can find a red monolith needed to forge a fuel cell for your train. Ah, I nearly forgot. Also, take this painted stone tile with you. My son found it when he was playing near the tomb. I have a feeling it might be useful in helping you get inside. Yeah, okay. I have taken the stone tile. There's a fragment of a painting on it. Well, this is nice and homey. The soup in the cauldron smells like some kind of broth. Dad, Otter, and his little... Hereby value to serve the castle code and loyal Leo obey all orders. In return, I am provided with food and given a guarantee of safety of my family. The other undersigned. Oh, is that all? I signed my soul over to you guys, even though you're clearly quite fucking evil. One happy family. I don't know if her necklace and bracelets and ring are important, but I will observe that she appears to be wearing jade jewelry. And here's little kid otter. Hi, baby otter. Hi. Do you see my toy? I lost it somewhere last time I played outside. It would be great if you could find it. You're way a doll? Awesome! So happy you found it. I completely forgot I left it at the bridge. I'm off to play Mr. Hangman again. Mildly disturbing, but considering the environment he's raised in with the castle and the evil people. Mm -hmm. A plat piece of metal with a mysterious drawing on it. Well, let's take a look at it. Can we take a look at it? Uh, apparently not. We have a flat piece of metal with a mysterious drawing on it. On the basement. We're just ransacking this dude's house, but... Spices, dried fruit, dirty kitchenware, nothing interesting. The barrel. Hmm. The drawing isn't very clear. The humidity here has done its work. Like beastie chess pieces, which I believe 
Yeah. Wooden figurine. Which I forgot to mention when we get out, got it, but... Mm -hmm. Hey, more beastie chest pieces. What got here? Hmm. A little hard to tell what these are. this one in here. Alright, the one that's got its mouth open seems to be the second one. Now it's got a diamond around its eye and only two like little horn things, maybe ears. And curly things. This one seems to be the most elaborate and also the most unable to be seen. That one looks like it's got squinty eyes. That one looks like it's got a frown and a little Brown nose and a little crest and stripies. So they look like they're in the right order right now. We just need one more. Hey, there's one more. It's got a frowny face on it. Figurings are here. It seems I need to put them in the correct order. But we had them in the correct order. Alright. You with the big mouth need to be here. You are going over there. Brownie face guy. No, wait a minute. That's Brownie face guy. I can hear something opening. And that, children, was known as brute forcing a puzzle because Mortician has been drinking bourbon. Uh. You be one of them. You come and kill me. You not know what be going on, I tell you. Rats lure victim to hunt. Hut. You sleep. Next day you wake up in cage and wait for rats lunchtime. I is one of the fools like that. Now I wait certain death. You have mercy and free me? You think I has nothing to offer? You wrong. I is was like you. Almost get out of horrible land. I already have ticket to train when they... They me take. Before I get here, I look for heal with hands. There await redemption. I having no use for ticket now. You just free me. You help? If yes, use button on wall. It bring cage up to light. Freedom await there. Okay, what the ever loving fuck? Why is this dude in a cage? In your basement. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this. Got a manual for some kind of machine nearby. We'll leave that alone for right now. Here's Bones. Also, I'm going to go ahead and point out the music is... The rats treat humans like animals. I'm a human, I think. Hard to tell under all that shit. But still, not cool, man. Nothing, I guess I still have to do something. Hmm. Could be something missing here. Didn't I have a metal plate? Oh, okay, I can either put him up or down. Okay, well, let's look at what we're doing here. A well filled with dirty water.
Help me, blah, blah, blah. You get me out, I give you tickets for train. I no need no more, no more. Dude, I am totally disillusioned. I thought the rat guy was like, or the otter was like, a totally too cool dude. But this is not cool. This is not cool at all. I mean, look at that shit on the wall. Torture instruments. Rats are cruel beings after all. We have something. Well, it doesn't create anything on its own. Got a stone tile. Does that... Does that go in there? Gotta try something else. We're open up a piece of stuff. All right. Um, like I got some kind of square thing, put it in there, and it turns into a doohickey for the train. But yeah, let's go upstairs. Oh, now we got all the, you know, nice homey music. When we know the terrible secret. Okay, you need you you need to talk to me right now. Have you gotten inside the tombs yet? Legend says the central one's eyes a magic item and made him able to grant great power to the one who possesses it. With well, this power, maybe my family wouldn't have to live in constant fear of the oppressors from the castle. If you help me, I'll give you the key to the place where you can ride, find a red monolith needed to forge a fuel cell for the train. You were, you, you had a, you, I couldn't help but notice that you had a prisoner downstairs. I, I couldn't help but notice that that's not a cool thing to do. Read him good. Well, bad. Nightmare end. I is very thankful to you. I thank you, friend. Rats bad, very bad. I go now. Leave something for friend. I thought the rat was my friend. I thought he was an otter. Otters are cute and cuddly. They hold hands. Take my train ticket and get the fuck out of here. I'm thoroughly disillusioned. All right, I have a painted tile. I have a rope. I have a piece of claw. I bet this claw I can show to this dude. However, I think that's all the time we have for this evening. Um, I, as always, thoroughly enjoy, um, my uh, time with whoever's watching this. I don't know you, but um, you know, I hope you, I hope you have an excellent uh, evening, day, night, whatever you're, whenever you're watching this. Um, be good to each other. I um, yeah, just be excellent to each other, guys. And uh, take care. I will see you next time on Tormentum. And we'll get a little farther and uh, see what happens. Good night. Bye.